Welcome back guys. In this teaching video I'm looking at 7.3 the factor theorem. 7.3 represents chapter 7 section 3 of the person A level maths pure maths year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key fact of this section and that key fact is the factor theorem. So we have the factor theorem. So what does the factor theorem say? Well a linear ax minus b in bracket is a factor of the function f of x if f of b over a is equal to 0. Now how do we get b over a? We set the linear ax minus b equal to 0 and we solve for x. This gives us x equal b over a. If we substitute x equal b over a into the function and the output is 0, then we can conclude that the linear ax minus b is a factor of the function f of x. Now this 0 over here essentially is our remainder. We know that if the remainder is 0, then of course ax minus b is a factor of f of x. Right, so in this video I'm going to be going through two exam style questions where we will be using the factor theorem to show that a linear is a factor of a function and after that we'll be solving problems. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. f of x is equal to 3x cubed minus 12x squared plus 6x minus 24. Part A, use the factor theorem to show that x minus 4 is a factor of f of x. Part B, hence show that 4 is the only real root of the equation f of x equal to 0. So let's have a look at part A. Now in part A we have to use the factor theorem to get the marks to show that x minus 4 is a factor of f of x. First of all I set my x minus 4 equal to 0 and if I do this I get x equal 4. Now I take x equal 4 and I put it into the function f of x. So I've got f of 4 is equal to 3 lots of 4 cubed minus 12 lots of 4 squared plus 6 lots of 4 minus 24. So I put this into my calculator and I end up with 0. Since the remainder is 0 to get the second mark what I must do is write down a conclusion. And that conclusion is, therefore, x minus 4 is a factor of f of x. And that, there, ladies and gents, completes part A. Let's have a look at part B. Hence, show that 4 is the only real root of the equation f of x equals 0. Right, first of all, we know that x minus 4 is a factor of f of x. Let's find the other factor. In other words, let's find the quadratic factor of this particular cubic. Right, so to do this, we have to carry out polynomial division. Here's my bus stop sign. Inside the bus stop, I can put my cubic. So I've got 3x cubed minus 12x squared plus 6x minus 24. Outside the bus stop, I can put my divisor and that divisor is x minus 4. Okay, so first of all, I take 3x cubed and I divide by x. If I do this, this gives me 3x squared. Then the 3x squared, we expand it with the x minus 4. This gives me 3x cubed minus 12x squared. We subtract these two polynomials. And if we do this, we get 0, 0. We can bring down the 6x and the minus 24. Right, so now we take 6x and we divide by x. If I do this, I get positive 6. You take the positive 6 and you expand with the x minus 4. This gives us 6x minus 24. We can subtract these two polynomials. And if we do this, we end up with 0. Okay, remember that 0 is the remainder. Since the remainder is 0, we can conclude that this quadratic is a factor of the function. So the complete factorization of the function f of x is therefore f of x equal the linear x minus 4 multiplied by the quadratic 3x squared plus 6. Okay, so we want to show that 4 is the only real root of the equation f of x equal 0. So if I've got f of x equals 0, this implies that 
x minus 4 in bracket multiplied by 3x squared plus 6 in bracket is equal to 0. We can set the two brackets equal to 0. x minus 4 equals 0 gives me x equal 4. And then we've got 3x squared plus 6 equal 0. We want to show that this quadratic equation has no real roots. To do this, we have to find the discriminant of this particular quadratic. Right, over here, we have that a is equal to 3. b, the coefficient of x is 0 because we don't have an x term. And c, the constant term is just 6. Discriminant of a quadratic is given by b squared minus 4ac. So let's calculate this. We've got 0 squared minus 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 6. And if I put this into my calculator, I get minus mt2, which is less than 0. Hence, we can conclude that 3x squared plus 6 equals 0 has no real roots. Therefore, x equal 4 is the only real root. x equal 4 is the only real root of the equation f of x equal 0. Okay, ladies and gents, that there completes part B and exam style question 1. Here is exam style question 2. f of x is equal to 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 6. Part A, use the factor theorem to show that x plus 2 is a factor of f of x. Part B, factorise f of x completely. And Part C, write down all the solutions of the equation 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 6 equal 0. Let's have a look at Part A. So in Part A, the first step is to set x plus 2 equal 0. Solving this equation gives me x equal minus 2. Now we take x equal minus 2 and we substitute that into the function f of x. We have f of minus 2 is equal to 4 lots of minus 2 cubed plus 4 lots of minus 2 squared minus 11 lots of minus 2 minus 6. Putting this into my calculator gives me 0. The 0 is the remainder. Since the remainder is 0, we can conclude that x plus 2 is a factor of f of x. Therefore, x plus 2 is a factor of f of x. Part A is worth two marks in the exam paper. The first mark is to calculate f of minus 2, which is 0, and the second mark is for the conclusion. Let's move on to part B. Factorise f of x completely. Now we know that x plus 2 is a factor of the cubic. We can use polynomial division to find the quadratic factor. So in part B, we have to use polynomial division. Here's my bus stop sign. Inside the bus stop, I've got my cubic. And outside the bus stop, I've got my linear factor, x plus 2. The first step is to take 4x cubed and divide by x. If we do this, we get 4x squared. Now we take the 4x squared and we expand it with the x plus 2. Doing this gives me 4x cubed plus 8x squared. Now we can subtract these two polynomials. So over here I would get 0 and over here I would get minus 4x squared. I can bring down the minus 11x and the minus 6 as follows. Right, so now we take minus 4x squared and we divide by x. This gives me minus 4x. Take the minus 4x and expand it with the x plus 2. If we do this, we get minus 4x squared minus 8x. Right, so now we subtract these two polynomials. This becomes 0 and this one here becomes minus 3x. Why? Because minus 11x minus minus 8x is minus 11x plus 8x, which is minus 3x. Okay, so now we can bring down the minus 6. So we take the minus 3x and we divide that by x. Doing this gives me minus 3. Minus 3 expanded with the x plus 2 is minus 3x 
minus 6. So we subtract these two polynomials, that becomes 0, this one over here becomes 0 as well, so we just have 0 at the end. Okay, since the remainder is 0, we can conclude that this over here is a quadratic factor of the cubic. The factorization of f of x will therefore be the linear x plus 2 multiplied by the quadratic 4x squared minus 4x minus 3. In the question, it says factorize f of x completely. To get the next mark, we need to factorize this quadratic. Okay, so I've got x plus 2. The factorization of the quadratic will therefore be 2x plus 1, 2x minus 3. That is my complete factorization. And this completes part B. Let's have a look at part C. Now, in part C, what we want to do is write down all the solutions of the equation 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 6 equal 0. So we're trying to solve 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 6 equal 0. Now, the factorization of this cubic is this factorization over here. So we've got x plus 2 in brackets. 2x plus 1 in brackets, 2x minus 3 in brackets, each bracket multiplied by the other, equal 0. So we set each bracket equal 0. And now we can simply solve for x. So the first solution is x equal minus 2. The second one is x equal minus 1 over 2 and the third one is x equal 3 over 2. And that there ladies and gents completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video 7.3 the factor theorem. If you found this video useful please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive a notification every time I post teaching videos.